How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we are playing around with the superhero team once again in the dismal future red zone. This time, we really want to try to test out Ultimate Gohan because this should theoretically be a fight that he is good for. Like I told you, King Piccolo was the old man. This is not going to end like it did before. I shall take on the challenge if you insist on interfering. I'll show you who's the superhero! Alright, but of course it's attempt number 5, and he's slot 7. It's definitely not where we want him, but, uh, well, it is what it is. We're gonna have to just make do, so let's grab that with, uh, Piccolo. Um... Pretty sure Gamma 1 is going to take about 100k on this AoE, but about the best we can do. Piccolo is like one of three units in the game that I can actually tank the AoE in this phase. It's kind of nutty, right? This AoE hits for 500k, meaning unless your unit is starting with 500k or more uh, defense, yeah, you're getting slapped by this AoE, which kind of sucks. But it does mean that Superhero is one of the teams that can consistently hit this team. Obviously, Future Saga, or hit this event, rather. Um, obviously, Future Saga can with all the buffs that it has gotten. And we're actually running a couple Future Saga units uh, in this one as well. Mostly the Trunks and the Vegito for the dodge, and Trunks for the additional firepower in this phase. And, of course, he Super Scanner 1. He couldn't Super Piccolo. 280k, right? So, that Super, just so you know, uh, hit for 1.2 million. I'm going to have a whole video breaking down uh, this whole stats, because I have a couple complaints about uh, this event. I don't complain about too much, but this event is definitely one of those things. All right, so, um, let's go ahead and, you know what, this is my last attempt, I don't want to risk it, the whole point is to utilize Beast Gohan here, so, I don't, here, here's the thing, I'll just go ahead and say kind of what I'm going to say in, in, in the video that I'm working on, uh, here, this fight is straight up unfair, <laughs> um, and obviously you guys kind of see why like even for this team right you know gamma one did previously an amazing unit for a fight like this just got slapped um by that super for 280k because again 1.2 million that means you know in order to tank it you need a unit that can hit 1 million defense turn one right 1.2 million is fine for a super attack right if you've got a boss doing that at like the end of the fight but this guy is doing it turn one so that makes this a very very rough fight combine that with the aoe in slot one and more often than not him super attacking slot one and doing an aoe in slot one i don't know that happened to me like four runs before this i mean i'm just gonna say it, the fight is straight up unfair <laughs> um that said, we're here to just kind of play around with Gohan and his damage in this fight. So, while we did start turn 7, I think we could still pull off the second turn Orange Piccolo with him. Because uh, technically his uh, counter starts once he shows up. So him showing up in turn 7 will actually give him some of his damage reduction in the next phase. So, you know, this is not the worst thing in the world, but... Hopefully nobody minds us using items here to make that happen. Alright, nice. Uh, at least Trunks popped off a little bit. I mean the the I mean the other the the other thing about this fight, right? Anything less than 1.5 million, he also reduces to complete zero uh, in terms of damage. I will defeat you! There we go. Alright, so we got him. Um, 
Let's see here. Hopefully we can set this up right. Yes, perfect. Okay, so with that we'll get the full 24 key uh, because Piccolo will activate his uh, stuff and that should take him down. Alright, let's go. There we go. Good job, Piccolo, hitting that 6 million. And he takes the super. This is actually good. Again, he is... Uh, this is why Orange Piccolo is number one. Now. Granted, we do have a double E, so I... You know, we were gonna survive it no matter what. But even without the double E's... Oh, Piccolo there would have taken double digits. Um, so... That's why he's number one, honestly. I mean, he, he's going to be up there uh, with the top LRs for quite some time, if only because he's one of the few units, because of his damage reduction, can reach the defense necessary to tank this phase. There we go. Excellent. And for him, it doesn't really matter what slot he's in, right? As we see uh, with the other turn. And unfortunately, we don't get... Ah, okay. This sucks. So this, we're basically wasting the Vegito blue turn. Yeah. Yep. Okay, well... Alright, well, let's just do this then. Uh, what we'll do is basically do this and hope we can take enough damage in the next phase to transform uh, Vegito and just we'll be able to chuck him in slot one. Let's see here. Very nice. So it's literally that one super attack from Trunks that we missed cost us that turn. That's kind of frustrating, but let's go ahead and do Orange Piccolo. That little extra went a long way. That was the warm I'm just getting started. Alright, so we're gonna try to set up the key spheres, just leave a little aside here to the best of our ability for Ultimate Gohan. We will use his active skill, which is gonna basically give us his 24 key, but obviously the more key the more we get, the better our damage is gonna be, so we do wanna make sure we do that. Um, but, yeah, this was kind of the plan with this team, is to make sure we got Piccolo here, ready to go. This is why I like the superhero team, right? Because as long as it's turn three and we're full superheroes, we can use Orange Piccolo on turn three, uh, which is very, very helpful. Alrighty, so let's see here. No. Um, well, okay, at least we get a crit. So, the nice thing is, is like, once you get past this phase, he's he's just like a regular difficult boss. Like, he still hits kind of hard for a phase 2 boss, but it's it's not that bad, right? He's still hitting, um... I think his super is now like 1.5 or like 1.75. Actually, let me pull it up here. Yeah, it is 1.75. That's what I thought. But, so his super is now 1.75, and he's raising his attack by 30% with the super. So, yeah, he's a little unfair for some units that maybe didn't build up in time for this part of the fight. But, it does... It's better than the first part. I'll say that. The second half of the fight isn't as bad as the first half of the fight, because at that point it just becomes a regular boss that hits hard, um, versus a boss that hits hard but also has an AoE and also has an attack lowering super that reduces your ability to hit him because you also have your damage reduced if you hit 1.5 or less, so... <laughs> I, I would say the second phase isn't as bad, but... I mean, we can at least chip away with him, uh, with Orange Piccolo here. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, nice. We get, uh, okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab that. There we go. Oh, okay. So we're going to miss the third super, but that's, I mean, that's fine. Um, we're still getting two 18 keys. Ooh, they, we do a pretty healthy chunk of damage to them. Especially if we can pick up any additionals. And we have Gohan set up, basically. Uh, with those Fizz Orbs on the right-hand side. Excellent. So, the only thing that concerns me here is because of our HP, we didn't proc Piccolo's extra damage reduction, which means... I'm pretty sure Piccolo gets slapped in this phase by normals without that extra damage reduction. We'll have to see, but I'm pretty sure he does. Since we're on turn 5 now. Um, but it's still better. Uh, yeah, let, let's let's do this first. Guess it's my turn. Special beam cannon. Oh, nice! Five mil. The fact that we, 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 you know, what that's is pretty good, honestly. All things considered, we got like what one link active here, so that's that's pretty good. So I still think Piccolo is the better choice in slot one, even though we've lost his entrance passive. I don't know that Gohan. Well, he might. But I don't want to risk it. Oh, yeah. 100k. I thought that's what we were going to take. Okay. Please. Okay, yeah. I don't know that Gohan um, could... I, Gohan's probably taking around the same. <laughs> even with his damage reduction there. And given that... I don't know that I want him on next turn if we come back... If we circle back around. You know what I mean? At least if we circle back around with the health, Piccolo will proc his damage reduction. So... This is... this is fine. Really the point here is to see the damage he takes off, or he can dish out. Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Gohan's definitely got a tank here. I'm pretty sure he does with his entrance passive still up. Nice, 8 million. I'll take that. 11. But again, remember, this is only with two supers on that turn one of his. Nice, we'll take that, and we'll get the third normal, of course. Basically what happened last time. But still pretty good. We still get a healthy chunk of damage there. And we tank the normals. Okay, we take this. Perfect. And since so it's just turn six and we have a future saga ally, we can go ahead and transform here. So let's do that. It's now or never, Vegeta. One hour, but that's it. I confuse Vegeta and Kakarot. Vegeta! And this is Vegito Blue! Yeah! Alrighty, so um, let's go ahead and let's pop Tech Vegito's active. Take a good long look. This is the true power of Vegito. Final Kamehameha! Six million. Obviously, that could have been a lot more, but we did only get one super last turn. So let's go ahead and let's do AGL Vegitos. What's wrong? Can you not keep up with my speed? Now you die! All right, not bad. And now we can pop him in slot one um, with some good old fashioned pure dodge. And he will be rocking. So let's do that. Oh, and we got the perfect tech orb set up. And we'll grab that with uh, Gamma uh, 1 here. Okay, perfect. So we do actually manage to get the clear here. 
um, which is good. We kind of got to see Ultimate Gohan do his thing, or Beast Gohan, if you will. And we get to use Vegito one last time. It's been a minute since we've actually popped this uh, active skill off. Alrighty, so there you have it, folks. There is Ultimate Gohan versus the Dismal Future Red Zone. Um, I did have a lot of fun with this run, but at the same time, I, I mean, personally, I don't find much fun in this event. Um, like I said, even for the best units in the game, like Piccolo, there's still some struggle to be had in that first phase. It just The phase is... I mean, it's antithetical to how you would want to build a team in Dokkan. Not saying it can't be done, it can't be beat. I just for me, I don't personally find it all that much fun. But the superhero team does make it slightly more manageable, especially if you're willing to use an item to back up some of your secondary rotations. Like if we didn't, if we didn't bring uh, Tech Vegito Blue here, I might have risked the no item, and it wasn't, you know, our last attempt of the day. Uh, but Either way, uh, we still had a lot of fun with this. Gohan, despite the fact that he showed up in slot 7 here, still managed to show off. We still hit a pretty good super for him um, and on that first super post uh, active skill. Active skill could have been a lot better had we actually had him show up on turn 1 um, uh, or turn 2 instead of slot 7, but, you know, is what it is. We make it work, so... Anyways, guys, that is the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know two things. One, who else would you like to see take on this event? Realistic attempts, obviously. Um, but also, are there any units who really stood out in this fight for you? you um let me know in the comments down below what units have you taken here that really surprised you in your ability in their ability to handle this fight i'm curious to see kind of what people are running into let me know in the comments down below otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and aloha